The investors meeting is really important to Hasbro. This is where they talk about what products are going forward, what they're going to do, how much money they've made, etc, etc. But it also gives us a massive look into the brand to see what's going on with multiple things such as Magic the Gathering going with Final Fantasy, which is something that you wouldn't kind of think of, but you have those cards etc etc now we've talked about this uh, in the past on the channel where power rangers is going and it's going to be quite interesting so i thought i'd jump in we'd talk about this and see where things are going over on twitter right now it's very hard to find any of this information so big thank you to Raphael for actually posting this so i've kind of gone through this and we've been kind of looking at like what he's written mainly just for the power ranger stuff so it's all been translated um so let's kind of talk about this so in the first one, it says Cosmic Fury on the slide is Dino Fury uh, will be the only production for Power Rangers for 2023. Now, a lot of people are going to be speculating like, what the hell? What's going on? We don't know anything else further than this. We don't know about the Jonathan Entwistle. It's not being cancelled. It's not going to be taken away. But just seeing this right here, this is the slide that we're talking about. We've got all the stuff with the feature films, especially with the Marvel stuff like What Ifs and the animated series. But at the moment, even though it's going into Cosmic Fury, I'm guessing that they just use this one for now. But literally, Cosmic Fury will be the only thing in production for Power Rangers for 2023, apart from like the 30th that we've got. But that's the main kind of thing here. Right. Power Rangers will continue to invest heavily for the years to come. I like that they put it together with Transformers and D&D, which are major Hasbro properties. So this is one thing that really kind of got me because... The fact is that for such a long time, we've not had anything to do with like where Power Rangers going here, going there. We had some uh, kind of talk about earlier. Now we, you know, then we didn't hear anything. But now the Hasbro are really going to be heavily investing. Is it to a point where they've seen that Dino Fury, Cosmic Fury are actually really good ones? So they want to kind of like up it and make it like the best type thing right now. So to me personally hearing that, I am very happy that they're going to be doing this. And rather than like say separating it or whatever, I generally really like the fact that they have put it with D&D. &D, they have put it with Transformers and it's in the middle. So it's the main focus. And that's what I generally really like seeing. At the end of, 20 year, uh, at the end of the year 2023, Power Rangers will be completely from E1 for the production series of films and animations. Now, there is something that we're going to be looking at with the Global uh, Nerds podcast as well as uh, Power Ranger on Twitter as well, which we're going to have a look at. But what this actually means now is that no company holds Power Rangers by E1 and Hasbro and stuff like that. So this does mean that you can easily see that we could get more movies, more TV shows, more everything about it. And that is what we've wanted for a long time. So Power Rangers looks like it's in a very good hands that they're going to be actually looking at it properly rather than kind of like pawning it off. So does that mean that we'll be seeing more films? Could we get a sequel to the 2017 film? Could we get something completely different? I think yes. And especially with Jonathan Entwistle taking over the film wise and stuff like that. I generally think that this is one of the best things that we've heard in, in such a long time. There wasn't much after that. Again, it says here. Okay, so um, Power Rangers. We will have new content for all ages. Cosmic Fury is a separate project from the Mighty Morphing Power Rangers anniversary special. Now, we've known this for a while that the anniversary special is something completely different. So I knew that this was going to happen. It's it's just one thing. We've heard it from David um, and Walter when they were on set that there wasn't anything to do with Cosmic Fury. So this is something completely different. But I like the fact that we have heard about them doing it all ages. We heard it, I think, roughly last year when there was a conference call where they started talking about it. I would have loved to have listened to all of this because I think it would have been very, very important. But I generally think that now Power Rangers is going forward i think it's in the right space and i think since then they've been able to kind of move it forward and that's what we've all wanted we've wanted this for such a long time so power rangers is really in good hands global nerds put out what if now this is what if in general this hasn't happened this is just them talking about it um it says what if films and shows on netflix so with this one we could have extra stuff we could have maybe two seasons two series going on at the same time to produce more content. Animated films and shows on Amazon and Paramount. Now, because as long as someone turns around and goes, here's a script, 
this is what we've got. They could approach Hasbro E1 and say, hey, this is what we've got. And Hasbro could go, or E1 go, yeah, yeah, it's no problem. Just go for it. And then obviously we've got it. So it could easily go into, like say the films, shows on Amazon, Paramount, Hulu, whatever you think. A sequel for the Lionsgate 2017 film. I was not a huge fan of that, but this means that we could easily move and get that sequel that people want. Films and shows on Disney. Now, even though most of this may not happen, could you imagine if a Disney Plus, what if? Power Rangers, what if? There's so much you could do. Multiple games and consoles, more mobile and broad, uh, broadband uh, board games. So again, we could get more games. We've already started seeing them coming out from Renegade Studios. Can you imagine if we had more Legacy Wars or we could have a, 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 v, a VR? We could have, well, VR games. You could have a, an RPG. You could have so much stuff to actually evolve around video games, board games and mobile games. It would be the best way. Look at Legacy Wars and how much money that's made over time. You, know, you could have it with that new one that was uh, mentioned, but it's not out of uh, testing. You could have huge, huge, multiple different games. A game like Genshin Impact, I would absolutely freaking adore that. Multiple comics, continued storylines from shows, films, original stories. I think this is one of the best things that we could have because it just shows that you're not sticking to one. I don't like the IDW one with Godzilla and Power Rangers, thought it was absolute fucking trash. Never would trust that ever again. But, you know, other people could take the, the mantle up and, and go with a different story and utilize it all. You know, shows, films, original stuff that isn't around Power Rangers or maybe Power Ranger off-brands. Who knows? Uh, stage shows and theme parks. Again, multiple big things that you could have. We have had talks of theme parks in the past with Saban. So there we go. We've got more. And then the kind of last one here from Power Rangers is Hasbro and Paramount have renewed their contract to allow Paramount exclusively in production of movies um, on their properties, but only two brands, Transformers and G.I. Joe. Power Rangers will be free to be shot to other studios when, if time comes to make a movie. So yes, believe it or not, Hasbro could now go to Lionsgate and actually make a sequel to the 2017 Power Rangers movie once the current contract with Paramount finishes out its tenature. I think that's it. So effectively, it just means that now we can have stuff continuing. Did you like the 2017 move, movie? Boom, there's the sequel to it that everybody's wanting. You know, you can have something completely different. But do you know what? I am just so excited that we've got this. It means that there is endless possibilities of what we can talk about. We can make anything and not just have the, well, Hasbro's not letting it because it's that. It doesn't matter anymore. We can do it. We can do what we want. I think the, the biggest thing to take from this is the fact that Power Rangers is now in the direction it should have been roughly around about probably since Disney or whatever, or since the band bought the brand back. This is where we're meant to be. And this is what I find absolutely amazing that I am really excited. I'm very excited to know what's happening with the brand. I feel like this is something that we've needed for a long time. So with the fact of new movies, new toys, new mobile games, new video games, board games, whatever you kind of think about it, Power Rangers looks like it could open up to a whole new thing and that's what I'm here for. So the Power Rangers extended universe is finally starting to happen, which we've all been wanting probably since day one. But what do you think about all this? Let me know down below in the comments and I'm going to leave it there. I'll see you later. チャンネルをサポートしてくれてありがとうございます。チャンネル登録、高評価お願いします。以下のリンクから商品を入手することができます。